Our Dairy Today report begins with a look at the tightening of the spread in farm to retail milk prices. According to analysis from Penn State University, the spread between farm and retail milk prices shows it has narrowed over the last two years. Jim Dunn, an ag economist with Penn State, conducted the research. In 2009, when farm prices for fluid milk crashed, the spread between farm and retail was $2.40 a gallon. Today, that spread has shrunk to about two bucks. Dunn says this data shows that retail prices do fall with farm prices as well as rise. Since 2000, retail milk prices have climbed 31 percent. Minnesota Congressman Colin Peterson is expected to formally introduce legislation in the next couple of weeks that could alter dairy policy in this country. Peterson, who is the ranking member of the House Ag Committee, says dairy policy needs to better reflect current economics. Peterson's proposal is similar to one proposed by the National Milk Producer Federation. Part of the plan would include a dairy market stabilization program. It would impose limits on U.S. milk production during low margin periods. This is designated to alert producers to market imbalances that dent margins and prompt them to adjust milk production accordingly. Peterson says the current programs, like the Milk Income Loss Contract Program, has failed to provide dairy producers with an adequate safety net. The International Dairy Foods Association, which represents processors, said the proposal would clearly take the dairy industry in the wrong direction and damage U.S. exports. To keep up to date with the dairy industry, including production and policy issues, check out DairyToday.com.